today we have uh, another guest. It's a well-known Greek grandmaster. Now it's not anymore so active, but it's also uh, FIDE deputy president. So I remember we played a game a long time ago. It was in 1981 in a zonal tournament in Budva, Montenegro. After that, you somehow just disappeared from, uh, from chess competition. Uh, when was it that you entered in FIDE? Uh, I became president in my federation, in the Greek Chess Federation in uh, 1982. And from that moment, actually, I entered FIDE. In the first uh, Olympiad in 1982, in uh, Lucerne, uh, I was member of the Central Committee, zonal president in uh, our area. So I started being involved with the business in FIDE. This was one of the reasons, actually, that I stopped playing chess, being president of my federation, so I had not the chance to take the revenge from you. <laughs> Maybe I'm lucky. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> no, I cannot say this. So, so uh, what do you think? You came here in visit and uh, for this uh, AQ meeting, but uh, what do you think about this championship? We need an, an, really an independent opinion from a person who is not involved in this organization because, uh, you know, uh, there are all, always a lot of problems with such a, a, a huge, huge competition with so many, so many players here around. Yeah, you know, and uh, recently, just one moment, recently uh, we heard a very negative opinion in one uh, Russian website. About this championship? Yes. I'm really surprised, really. I'm surprised. For me, probably this is the best uh, individual European championship that has been uh, organized. Because you know what are very important for a championship like this? Good hotels, good food, good playing hall. And there is everything here. So I'm really surprised because this is the strongest, largest uh, European championship with such a good conditions. And I'm uh, really surprised that you have uh, negative uh, remarks about the championship. But I would like to say also that the fact that we can have such big championship with so many grandmasters is because of, of the system that you are using for the World Championship in FIDE. Because if there's not a World Cup and there are not so many places to qualify for the next step, these championships, they will die. There will be no such an interest. There will be small tournaments. Of course. Okay, some top players, they will come to play, but that's all. Yeah. Today, this is possible because there are so many places of qualifiers for the next uh, level. And if you have a good organizer like we have here, then you can have a great success, and we have in this service. And because there is a, a very important prize fund, of course, also. Of course, but that's why I say <laughs> good organizer means also a prize fund. <laughs> okay, and my last question is about uh, what do you think, are you satisfied with uh, Greek players? How do I... Okay, for the moment uh, they are struggling, but you know, normally for our uh, level, let's say, we have the chance to qualify to our own two players. I hope that again this time we will qualify it, one or two players will qualify it. In all championships, we have succeeded. I hope here also. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.